Well, hello there. I figured I'd come and look at the Project the Launcher from the perspective of the rare and legendary upgrades. Ammo types that I found so far are the explosive rounds, the electrical rounds, the tranquilizer rounds, thermal rounds, chemical rounds, and Militech incendiary rounds. I won't be covering mech damage as I've already upgraded my character to do extra damage to mechs. I don't have any perks into anything that should be affecting any of these ammo types either. So let us jump into this with the explosive ammo type. I will also slow the video down when the action starts just so we can see some of these numbers. Damage seems to increase when you get closer to the man do damage with the explosive rounds as well as headshot damage. I thought this was a glitch when I first purchased my legendary arm upgrade um, for the project launcher. Whatever ammo you have loaded into your rare one, it'll stay in there so you want to transfer it out into your legendary. Next up will be the electrical rounds. Now this ammo type seems to have a cluster bomb effect with a chance to stun the enemies. Now careful wording, it does say a chance to stun. The description here says to charge for a guarantee stun. The charge shot works for both the rare and the legendary projectile arm launcher for the stun. When the stun doesn't work, it just seems to act like just a regular explosive. And with my mech damage, this ammo seems to have pretty good damage against mechs as well. So couple that with the stun damage and it's pretty reliable. OP rounds, aka tranquilizer rounds. This ammo type will let you walk through anybody in the game as long as they can put them to sleep. And this is my secondary go to. I always have it loaded in because sometimes you get those objectives where you're not supposed to be killing anybody and just go out and them alive. You would think that the charged shot would actually do a spread damage, but it does not. It is one shot, one person, and there is no splash damage. <laughs> this doesn't happen very often, but uh, I misfired here. <laughs> So again, splash damage does not work, so it, you have to hit him directly for the knockout to actually take effect. You could also stealth your way through areas with this ammo type. I've done it myself as long as you 
don't have anyone come across the bodies. So the next two ammo types you can purchase over here, the thermal and chemical ammo. So we'll have a look at the thermal ammo first. This ammo type seems to have a pretty decent tracking effect. demonstrate the tracking effect real quick. So next up would be the chemical rounds. Nothing too special with this one, at least as far as I can see. So this next one is located in this area over here. I went and visited this ripper dock over here and I went and explored around the corner and I activated a quest. You might be able to pull this off without even doing the quest as well. I just You just go behind the ripper dock's building and there's a door you could access back there. So make your way through the building, watch out for enemies, out. and make your way to I'll the basement. Nice to you. The basement's gonna have a few interesting things, so clear that out and uh, look for any loot that you want to find. Fun fact, after I was done here, I continued forward and I walked up the stairs. Uh, and I just walked through the door and the Ripper Doc got really scared. And he offered me a discount for uh, anything he's selling as well. So the very specific location of this ammo type is located right here. At least this is where I found it. Having some fun with this one. Uh, again, the tracking effect, you could go ahead and just shoot away from them. It does actually visually show you that it shoots a away and then directs back at them. So, last up will be the legendary. But anyway, thank you for watching and stay awesome.